Hey guys, it's Renee. So today we're gonna be making a bunch of really cute paper clip bookmarks. For all of them, I'm gonna be using my clips and my foam paper. I'm using white because I bought a set of white ones, but feel free to work with the colored ones. So first we're gonna be making the books. The first thing that I'm gonna be doing is cut two stripes out of this, one bigger than the other. First I'm gonna cut the big one. Basing myself from that size, I'm going to be cutting the smaller one. Once I cut it the smallest stripe, I'm going to be marking one half centimeter three times and this is going to be like the inside of the book. If you want the book to be thicker, mark this four times. Then I'm going to be marking them so I can cut them. This is the inside of the book. These ones are the like, pages of it. I'm going to be adding some glue, super glue on like the top of these ones. Then I'm going to be uh, putting the clip inside there, sandwich it with another like page. I'm going to be gluing the third one on the top. I'm just going to be taking white acrylic paint in my brush and I'm just going to paint like the edges, pretty much what's going to be visible. I'm going to be taking my bigger stripe and I'm just going to first measure how much of this I'm going to be using. This is going to be like the cover of the book and I'm just going to cut the excess and I'm just going to be painting the edges of it for now, giving this few coats until it's big enough. If you want to go for like colored foam sheets to begin with, just so you don't have to color anything, just go ahead and do that. I went for blue and red. I'm going to be gluing the uh, pages inside of this like that pretty much like a sandwich and I'm just going to wait for this to dry then I'm going to be a uh, painting like the outside of like the book then to decorate them I'm going to be using some leftover foam sheet glue it on top I'm gonna to paint that and then I went with my sharpie like the fine tip and I wrote art because I don't have a lot of space in here and because I really like art and as a final step I'm going to be adding that decoration on top which is the same thing that I added on the bottom there and then I added three dots in there one the blue one I went with music in there just because I really like music you can write whatever you want you can write fashion drama yeah then I did the same thing with the left over foam paper then i went with my detail brush used my white acrylic paint and i went over with the music board because i felt like with the black sharpie it wasn't visible enough and then i went with my sharpie and finished by drawing a music note for the mickey and mini one they're pretty easy i'm going to be using my foam paper as well i'm going to be using this makeup brush it's for the eyes but i'm going to be using this part working with a piping tip mark that with my pencil i'm going to be making my mickey's and minnie's ears like that i'm going to be cutting this if you have a cookie cutter or something that is this shape just trace that or even better if you have a puncher that is this shape just go ahead and do that because it's a circle it's not going to be like perfect i'm going to be using my super glue and i'm going to glue my clip in there then I'm going to be painting this with my acrylic paint black one for the mickey this is it as far as the mini though i'm going to be drawing a bow like this has to be like puffy because that's the bow that she has cut it and then i'm going to be painting the whole thing with my red acrylic paint i'm going to be taking again my white acrylic paint my sharpie and this dotting tool that i do have the diy for and i'm just going to decorate the bow add some like dots all over the place you can use a toothpick as well but i just prefer to use this one because i can wash it after i'm done the star is it's pretty simple i just printed out a star and this is like the size that i went for and i'm just going to cut this i'm going to trace that with my uh, pen on like my foam paper again if you have a cookie cutter that is this shape just go ahead and use that and yeah i'm just going to be cutting that doing the same thing and in some cases i did add a small uh, piece of foam paper on the back just so the clip was not as visible i'm going to be using some yellow acrylic paint and i'm just going to paint the whole thing you can use any color that you want but i really like yellow star Finally, we have a speech bubble with some like phrases or saying in there. First, I'm going to be writing read me. My writing is not the best one, but that's okay. I mean, I'm doing this with my pencil, by the way, because I couldn't find my Sharpie when I was doing this. But if you want it to be darker, just go ahead and use the finest tip of like the Sharpie. Then I'm going to be doing the speech bubble and I'm just going to cut that. Here I'm showing you some examples of things that you can write, like good morning sunshine if you want to read the book first thing in the morning good night and a glass of wine if you wind down with some wine and a good book 
but yeah i'm just going to be gluing the uh, clip on the back of it and i actually ended up painting the edge of it with my black acrylic paint so yeah guys these are the ideas that i wanted to share with you hopefully there is something for you i wanted to make something for all ages maybe but yeah these are really fun easy and affordable to make and something that you can make with kids as well so hopefully you like them and if you did don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel for more fun stuff coming up so yeah thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care bye guys